going on fishing friends so today we are going to do a bit of a comparison video of two different stick baits one being the Bass Pro Shop stickos um, which retail at $5.99 for a pack of 16 and they also make a pack of 30 for $9.99 and I kind of wanted to see how they compare to the new Guggen Lunker Log baits which retail at $6.99 for a pack of eight. Um, I watched a video a while back of uh, a comparison between the Guggen baits and the original Sanko bait to kind of see uh, how they hold up against each other and so someone commented on the video and was talking about the Sticko baits from uh, Bass Pro Shop saying how of a value are for how many you get and me being the frugal fisherman that I am I kind of wanted to go out and see if they hold up to that uh, that claim and uh, compare them to a higher price bait I know the Guggens came out a while back with uh, like a creature bait and a craw bait and they just released the, the lunker the lunker log um, a little bit ago so I kind of wanted to see how they uh, hold up durability wise and fish catching and see if it's really worth the dollar more for half the baits or if you can get by with the cheaper uh, Bass Pro Shop version of a stick bait um, if you're familiar with the Guggens which if you're into fishing and you are on YouTube, you know that they have been around for a while. I uh, watched their videos from starting a couple years back and I haven't really followed them too much lately, but I know they are uh, crushing it when it comes to uh, making videos and expanding their channels and now they're even making products for fishing. And uh, I just kind of wanted to see how well their bait was and uh, judging by the package alone it's a pretty nice package uh, I will say it's, it's got a lot more eye appeal than uh, the Bass Pro Shops but uh, they also have that little plastic sleeve in there to keep the, the baits nice and straight so it says on the package to open snip and catch so right now we can open and sniff but we'll have to wait and see about the catch part. so just open them out out of the bag, see the little plastic holder that they got. Give them a little snifferoo. Not too bad, a little plasticky smelling, but uh, not too strong. Now we'll uh, give this, the stick a little smell a -roo. A little bit stronger plastic smell, but uh, if you can look at the comparison between the two, the Bass Pro Shop Sticko, they didn't have any uh, green pumpkin, regular uh, colors, so I had to get uh, the green pumpkin Alishazam Magic, 
and uh, I just went out and got the regular uh, green pumpkin and the lunker log here. Um, I feel like the lunker log is at a little bit of disadvantage because this has got the the magic infused. Actually, it's uh, just a little bit of gold flake on there. It's not too big of a difference. So had to do with what I could find. Um, made a trip to Cabela's they, uh, to get the Bass Pro Shop um, brand. They didn't actually carry the lunker log. So I had to run over to Dick's, but uh, I stopped at the Cabela's in Sun Prairie in Wisconsin and to actually have uh, the state record uh, white tail buck, non-typical on display in a full mount right as soon as you walk in the store. I got a couple shots of that. And uh, I actually remember when uh, that thing was shot back in 2013, it was in the paper. So it's pretty cool to walk in and see that um, as soon as you walk in, knowing that it's a, a local deer that uh, was taken. and It was a, uh, quite a trophy but we will uh, put these to the test here um, once we get out on the water and see how they hold up against each other me being the cheapo that I am I'm always looking for the best value for my buck and uh, I know the the Googans are a little a little expensive but if you can catch a few fish on on one of these and maybe just one on the Bass Pro Shops I guess you're uh, not losing out too much so we'll have to wait and see when we get on the water so I hope to see you there all right guys so I'm gonna be starting out first with the lunker log here open her up got that nice fancy sleeve to keep your your base nice and nice and straight Give it a smell. Ooh, smells good. <laughs> so I got both of these in green pumpkin, just to kind of make it even. So start out with the lunker log here and uh, see what we can do. Fish on. Fish on. About time. It's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy, tie her out. Yeah, that's decent. Lunker log, baby. It's fighting to the, to the last breath. Holy schmoly. Woo! Oh yeah, buddy. You wanted that, didn't you? Holy moly. There we go. Lunker log. Oh, man. Let's get a weight on this guy. So I've been out here for... I don't even know how long. I caught a nice one last week right over here also. Hour and a half, basically. And I finally hooked up on a good one. Man. 
there are some nice fish in this lake that's for sure sometimes it just takes a minute almost a little bit over three and a half Whew. yeah buddy look at that guy Cast it right underneath that little bush right there. I knew you'd be hiding somewhere. All right. Let's go. All right, let's get a release on this old gal. Here we go. Thanks. There she goes. Woo! Let's get another one. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, don't snap my line, buddy. decent one. Oh yeah. On the Bass Pro. Get in here. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Another toad on the Bass Pro. On the Bass Pro. Sticko worm, baby. I knew they'd be hiding under here. Hit the spot this morning with no luck at all, except for getting the only thing I caught was branches. Decided to come back here since it's getting a little hotter out now. Thought they'd be hiding, maybe. Look at that. Another, another good one off the Bass Pro this time say about almost three pounds on that one we'll get a weight on them man had a few break me off which was a little upsetting had two bites over there by the dam both broke me off which is weird because I don't, that really never happens with this line that I'm using. Oh yeah. Three six. What are you, the same one as the last one? Oh man. Whew. Got you. Hiding right underneath all this stuff, right in the shade. That's where I'd be. Three and a half. A little bit over three and a half. Like I said, there's good, there's good bass in this lake. It's just you gotta find them. It takes a little, takes some time, but they're in here. Alrighty, let's, let's get this old gal back in the water. Oh, woo! She's ready to go. Bye bye. What's going on, fishing friends? Wanted to do a quick follow-up to the video today. Um, I was doing a comparison between the Guggen Lunker Log stick baits and the Bass Pro Shop Sticko stick baits. Um, so I caught two fish. Um, 
they were both actually 3.63 pounds. And I caught one on each bait. And I don't know if it was a coincidence that maybe there was two fish in that lake that weighed the same exact same amount of weight. Or um, another coincidence would be maybe I caught the same fish twice. I did catch the two um, about 200 yards apart from each other and about an hour in time apart from each other. So, I mean, it is possible that there are two, two fish that are exactly the same. It didn't look like um, the second one I caught had any uh, marks in its mouth from being caught uh, previously, which it should have. And so I'm not sure. I mean, maybe there, maybe my scale's broken. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really can't explain it. But the fact of the matter is, is I did catch two fish and they were decent sized fish. Um, three and a half pounds is a good fish for the state of Wisconsin for largemouth. Um, so just kind of to compare the two, two baits right here, I got the, the Bass Pro Shops brand here and it's got the, you know, usual tearing up top where the hook goes in at and, uh, was getting a little frayed down here where I've been, uh, where I dig the hook in for the weedless and same with the, the lunker log, it's still split up here on top, like, you know, usual and pretty, pretty dinged up in the middle where the, the hook was hidden at. I did, I was bouncing them into trees and off rocks and under shrubs and stuff like that. So I was, I was abusing them pretty, pretty good. I will say I did get the lunker log, um, stuck in the trees more. Um, but I did fish both baits about the same amount of time. And <clears throat> I, uh, I, after the each fish, the the baits were pretty much done. I mean, I, I did throw them around a little bit more after I caught each fish, but they're getting kinked up and kind of falling off the hook and stuff like that and sliding around. So they're pretty much both toast after after the, each fish they caught were caught on on them. And I would kind of like to maybe do a another comparison video um, and see hopefully catch more fish on each bait and see how they they hold up but uh durability wise i'd say they're pretty similar the only difference is is the price point which the lunker log is about 87 cents per bait and if you can see here as you can see here i have two lunker logs left and I fish both these baits around the same amount of time. I tried to be as even as I could with them. So I have two lunker logs left and I have the Bass Pros. After throwing it around, I did go through baits from throwing them in trees and stuff like that also. But even with both baits, I have this many, <laughs> this many Bass Pro Shop Stickle baits left, which are about 37 cents per bait. So if you do the math, um, this is a pretty good deal. You can also buy uh, uh, 30 packs for $10, which is pretty crazy. Um, so I, I try to be as unbiased as I can. I know the Googans have a lot of, a lot of fans and a lot of popularity on YouTube and uh, they're doing a heck of a job if you ask me on uh, making a living uh doing what they love and that's fishing now they're, they're they make good videos and uh nothing against them they're uh making products now but the frugalness of that i am that i have just makes it hard for me to justify spending seven dollars on eight plastic stick baits i mean even if you catch half the fish on the Bass Pro Shops, you're still saving money than, uh, than you would be if you bought these and caught twice as much, uh, twice as many fish, because you're still paying a, a lower price point for, for more baits. But that being said, um, 
I will say the Lunker, uh, Lunker Log and the Guggen Baits, they, I like their packaging a lot. They did a great job with uh, the sleeves and the color schemes and all that. I mean, it really does catch your eye on the shelf compared to other baits. So they did do a great job doing that. Um, but I will say, if I had to choose, um, I would have to go with the Bass Pro Shop Sticko. I heard really good reviews of these, and they got tons of colors in these. And I, I, I would bet that the Lunker Log will be coming out in different colors. I think they got like seven or eight different colors now, and this has probably 15 colors maybe I saw at the store. So I would have to say for the money and uh, the application and the fish caught so far, I'd have to go with the Sticko. And uh, I usually use Bass, or I usually use Strike King uh, plastic, uh, Classic stick baits, but uh, I might have to switch over to the Bass Pro Shop after after seeing how durable and cheap these guys go for. Um, so I mean, it's still undecided. I mean, it's up to you if you want to pay more money for the Googans. I mean, they're, they're good baits, but they're just they're just too expensive for me. So hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you did, subscribe. If you don't. Um, don't subscribe, I guess. Give maybe give me a thumbs up if you do like it, and uh, comment good or bad. Uh, I'll, I'll take either, and uh, I'll be uh, pushing out some more videos here, hopefully in the near future. Um, maybe do another comparison between the two two baits, and uh, again, and maybe catch a couple more fish on each one to kind of see. But uh, as of right now, um, I'm gonna go with the the Bass Pro Shop Sticko. So hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you soon, and hope you uh, keep tying one on and living the dream, and I will see you in the near future.